So we're going to make this um, curving space frame that we looked at before, and so it has nine points. So we're just going to lay out nine adaptive points going in a clockwise from the top left with the ninth in the middle and get moving on it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to File and um, New Family. And it'll open up your uh, dialog box and you'll go to your English and, oh, actually, sorry, English Imperial and or metric if that's what you're using and we're going to get the generic model adaptive it's different than the curtain panel um, slightly but works in the same way so go ahead and start with this double click on it i'm going to use one that i have um, the only difference being that the background is not in the gradient that it comes in because i don't much like that and so i'm going to go to my reference level and we're going to start laying out the points similar right to these one two three four around in a clockwise motion so I'll just come in and start putting points out one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then I'll pick them and make them adaptive and then I like to line them up you don't have to do this um, but I prefer to have them lined up um, so they all the lines that I make in the beginning are lining up and so just makes it easier for me anyway to construct it without any wonky lines all right so <clears throat> first thing we're gonna do I'll go to my 3d view and we're gonna make our offset points so in this one you can see that we have points that have been offset from all of these adaptive points all around the edge. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'll go back to 3D. And the way you do that is you create points on the individual um, adaptive components. So I'm just going to go in and pick the point command and go to set and set that plane current and make sure that it's on draw on work plane and not on draw on face. I'm going to go to draw on work plane and I'm going to hit that point and then I'm going to go to set and just work my way around right and just keep setting the horizontal plane of these current and placing the points on them. So let's take a second. All right, so now we've got all those points on there. I'll hit escape to stop that. And then I'm just gonna window around all of everything, all of the points, and I'm gonna filter out the reference points. So get rid of the adaptive ones and get the reference points. And that'll give me in my properties dialog box an offset over here. And I'm gonna put a, a parameter on that. So I'm gonna click on there and it's gonna bring out the associate new parameter dialog box. And I'm gonna click on this new parameter and <clears throat> we're just going to put offset point right and it's, click OK we'll leave it as a type parameter and click OK now I'm going to go to my family types dialog box up here and I'm going to offset those points so let's just do um, four feet and see where that takes us hit apply and you'll see those points come up in the air and so now if I move this adaptive point that point follows it and so and we can also set these adaptive points to adapt to their host and we'll look at that in a minute and so now I'm going to do um, lines around here I'm going to do splines so if I go and take a look at the at this guy right with the one these the one to eight to seven curves and this one curves these are going to be straight eventually um, but we'll go ahead and um, use we can either use the points or not um, it just depends and then the one below curve so we'll do this area first so let's go ahead and we'll get this up here so what you're going to do is do a spline through points and you want to make sure when you do the spline through points that you draw on face because this is going to go through multiple um, points and it's going to curve so now if I pick this and move that up 
whoops, put it on the wrong one. So let's delete that. And let's go to Reference Spline Through Points to make sure it's on Draw and Face. And I'm going to put it on these guys. So now, if I pull this guy up, that guy goes like that, right? So I'll go ahead and do another reference spline over here. One, two, three. And then we'll also do one here. One, two, three. Um, and then these are actually straight. So you could do a reference spline or you can just do a reference line. Um, so that's up to you how you want to do that. I'll just go ahead and, and uh, do a reference spline. One, two, three. Whoops, and I forgot to make that one a reference line too. So I'm going to tab select that, and you can change them to reference lines by modelize the reference lines by checking this little reference line box over there when you have it selected. So um, reference spline through points. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, so when we come back, um, we'll start putting the modeling and a few more lines. We actually, I think we need a reference line, right, um, going from here to here. So when we come back, we'll, we'll do those guys.